The ride, I'm still here, and today I thought I would do a review on Titan Masters Deluxe Hot Rod and Original Target Master Hot Rod. First, we'll do the Original Target Master Hot Rod. This is just a basically a, re, uh, a redo of the original 1985 Hot Rod, but the only difference is it has a bigger hole in the engine for the Titan Master. Which is Firebolt. <clears throat> First we'll look at Firebolt. Here it was the original ti uh, Target Master. And what you do is you want to flip that over. And let's see the arms don't move. Nothing moves. You got no movement whatsoever. Just there is the robot. And there is the back of him. And a really good close of Firebolt. <clears throat> and this is the original Hot Rod. First we'll look at the hot rod, there is the face, you've got the orange, yellow flames, Autobot symbol, um, he's got the spoiler in the back, he's got the the rub where if you rub it, then you to see if it's an Autobot or Decepticon, and that is pretty neat, <clears throat> and now for a little look at the articulation, uh, only got arm movement, you can't really move the arms up and down, head, can't move basic uh basic 1980s technology again you can't move the arms whatsoever no waist no feet no knees nothing but i will say this is was one of the better um <clears throat> figures that they had from the 80s i mean you can see the detail he looked just like his counterpart <clears throat> just like his toy version and there is Firebolt. And <clears throat> now for Titan's Return Hot Rod, which is just a Headmaster Hot Rod. <clears throat> Out of all the Titan Master Deluxes, I think they did a bad job on him. If you look at the ones like Blur, the arms are really proportional. These arms almost look like gorilla arms. Um, he's got way too much space up here. The spoiler needed to be above higher. Um, the feet, I don't know what's up with these thick feet. I mean, I was really looking forward to Hot Rod when I found out he was going to be a Titan Master. But, kind of disappointing. But you know what? He is Hot Rod. So I really can't complain much. <clears throat> Hot Rod's weapons. He's got these two guns. You got the one gun. And the two gun. And like a normal... Like one of the other uh, <clears throat> Titan Master Return guns, you can put them together like that. And the Titan Master can just fit in there. And you could plug it onto the car <clears throat> and use it as that one. Or they are two guns. Now, let's look at him. <clears throat> He's got the face again. Let's do both faces. Um, they're about the same. Uh, let's see. About him, though, you have full articulation. You've got the elbows. you got the wrists for transformation. You have a wrist swivel. <clears throat> you have the leg bend. You have the knee. Uh, head, do a whole 360. And let's look at him. You still have the yellow flames with the orange background. Um, the arms a little taller on this one. I think they're a little too tall. But <clears throat> you still got the knees. You got the red. You got the yellow. The wheels up here. On the other one, they're to the side. Uh, he's got a smaller backpack. And again, with the arms, I really wish you can do something with the hands. You really can't. Like I said, they... They kind of bit the bullet on this one. And he could have been a whole lot better. But he's a hot rod figure. And Rodham Spill loves this hot rod. So <clears throat> there you go. Now to compare. We'll do a little size comparisons. This is the original Rodimus Prime. 
course all the stickers got but there's the original Rodham's Prime <clears throat> and here is Hot Rod from the Transformers the last night <clears throat> these two are deluxe figures and back then they didn't have deluxe they didn't differentiate sizes if you had one Hot Rod that was it you got one Prime size that was it Bumblebee Minibot that's it <clears throat> Now we'll look at the transformations. First, we'll go back to 1985 or 86, I believe. And this is one, this is one with the, it's got metal toes. They do have hot rod, originally came with plastic, but this is metal. Actually, you know what, we'll bring in the original 1984, non, uh, Target Master Hot Rod. And like I said, the same mold. The only difference is his feet plastic. His feet are metal. And the hole in the engine, it's a lot bigger on the Target Master than on the original one. But everything else is still the same. Okay, so now we're back to Target Master Hot Rod. Firebolt will transform. Very easy. <clears throat> and now for Hot Rod. What you want to do is turn the arms sideways. There you go. Unsnap that. And the head, this snaps in. But you want to rotate engine up. And then we'll put that like that. Oh, actually, you know what? First we'll we'll rotate this back. That's the front of the car. Hmm. Oh, it's stopping from here. There you go. Now, here is the top of it. Now, you want to slide this in. Close the hood. Arms go down. Arms go down. Snap the hood down, and this goes sideways. There's half the car. And these, you turn the metal, flip the metal up, push the legs in, and these just sit right in there. And basically, there's your hot rod. <clears throat> Pretty simple transformation. You can see the robot. Uh, there's his hood. A little transparent blue. You can kind of see the seats in there. Uh, <clears throat> he's got the piping. There, this one has rubber wheels. Uh, let's see. Side of the car. It's got the flames in the side. The back's pretty cool. And then firebolt. You stick there. And there is your Target Master Hot Rod. And let's just set up the original one back there you can tell by the sticker where he's pretty old and there is target master hot rod with firebolt okay <clears throat> now we'll use titan master hot rod and now we'll look at titan master hot rod with fire drive before that <clears throat> we'll look at the card autobot hot rod titans return and autobot hot rod and fire drive And here is Titan Master Hot Rod. Okay, to transform him, we'll take over Fire Drive. Transform him. And we'll look at him real quick. Again, they did a bad job on this guy. All gray. <clears throat> no the paint. There's his head on the back. Just uh, so many things wrong with this figure. They could have done a lot better job with it. But what are you going to do? All right. First of all, here, put the arm straight, pull the hands in. That's the first thing I don't like. You could have had more wrist. You could have done something with it. <clears throat> all right. Well, this tab's in here. Do that. We'll flip this around for now. The hood. Pop up the chest, and then it's a double pop. There you go. So there you have the fronts all done. And these, you just want to pull up, 
You want to tab that hole and that tab. So that one's done. See, I wish you could have folded this little part down or done something. Okay, <clears throat> rotate them at the waist. And you need to flip these out, flip the feet out, flip these in, and then pull the legs in. Pull the legs in, and you could have easily connected those two before. Little peg, little slot, there you go. And once you get that done, you can line up the things, and this gets folded down. It's on a double hinge, and basically just fix, flip that, and that's hot rod. There's your Titan Master Returns hot rod. And like all of these figures, you just gotta line them up. Let's see. Those pop in there. Those fold in here. And they roll. Oh, there you go. He rolls pretty good. <clears throat> There's Hot Rod. And you take Fire Drive. You lift up the cockpit. Yeah, has some pretty good details. I like to put his arms up. And you sit him in the cockpit. And you close it. And there is Titan Master Returns. Titan Master. Titan Returns Hot Ride. Now his weapons. Um, as with them together, you've got two holes here, two holes here. You can set the gun like that. Or you can take the guns apart. Uh, you could put one in this hole. You can put one in this hole. And you have Hot Rod flying into battle like that. And there is your two Hot Rods. Tight Master, <clears throat> which is the Headmaster, and the original um, Titans Target Master Hot Rod with the new Titan Master hot rod and we're gonna bring in the original Rodimus Prime just for looks there's the original Rodimus Prime we're in this one very easy this one is you need to be a PhD to transform them I mean back then this is all you got folks that's where the technology comes from when I was a kid to what they have now and we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison here, to do a real comparison, let's we'll put the guns together. Uh, let's see. I still gotta look at these. Uh, there you go. These two slide. It goes over, under, over. There you go, over, under, over. We'll stick fire drive in there. Stick these there. So now you have your two side-by-side -side Target Master Hot Rod, Titan Returns Hot Rod. Ready for battle. Um, What can I say about, what, 85? 86 Hot Rod. Hey, he's not bad. I do like this figure. This is one of my best 19, uh, early generation one figures. The figure was a little too big. And compared to today's, as you can see, there is a big size difference between Fire Drive and Firebolt. Firebolt, Fire Drive. A lot of times they lost the rights to these names, so they had to change several of the names. <clears throat> Just a little. Like, Slingshot, the Aerial Bot, is now Quick Slinger. You still have the sling in it. But, I'm sure they didn't realize 20 years later, 30 years later, they would need the rights back. So there you go. You've got Target Master, Hot Rod, Titan Returns, 
hot rod. Okay, this is a Rodimus Bill. If you like my video, just click like, hit the share, or share it with your friends. Uh, subscribe to my channel, check out all the other um, videos I have. I do Transformers, we do Voltron, I do DC Comic Toys. And this is Rodham's Bill signing out and saying, Till all are one. Till all are one.